And Duncan, we also went over your negative emotional history, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when, when we were able to reframe some of your past events and let go of the emotional charge, the negative emotional charge linked to those events, that's what we did with you. Do you feel like that contributes in any way to the success you've had with your weight loss? Yeah, it just, it doesn't, it's allowed me to look back at it. They're there. They're not going away. The memories aren't. But they're more positive. Mm -hmm. I'm taking, I, I look at, I look at the negative part of it. Mm -hmm. I say, no, but it's framed different. Let's look at it differently. Mm -hmm. And that makes you feel different. Yeah, because there's, I, I, I looked at, at the, if I look at the positive side of it, yeah, I can't give you the negative part of it, but the positive side becomes the more dominant part of the part of the memory. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that, and that changes the way a person feels. So let me just talk about that for a second. Um, there's really three things that I did with Duncan, that I do with all of my clients that come looking for help with any type of compulsion, whether it's smoking or drinking or food. Um, one is they focus their attention in a way that leads to a better outcome. And I think you would agree that you focus yeah. your attention in a very different way now. Oh, I do. Than a lot, used to. A lot of, oh, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, there's action. I don't want people to think that it's just a matter of controlling your food. There's some mental exercises and some reprogramming that's required, um, you know, on the part of the client. Like Duncan didn't just come to my office and have me talk to him and then have him, you know, he didn't just leave. He actually went home. And I don't know how much time you spent, but I usually recommend you know, somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes a day of mental mm -hmm. exercises. Some of it is mental rehearsal um, because we're programming our minds all the time. So like I explained to you, Duncan, if you take responsibility for that programming, well, then you can have mm -hmm. your mind work for you instead of against you. Yep. And the final piece is what we just spoke about, which is resolution of unresolved negative emotion mm -hmm. because we compare life events to our history. And if we're comparing it to a history that's full of unresolved negative emotion, we're more likely to feel negative emotion in the present. And if we feel negative emotion in the present and we have a compulsion for food, for example, we're more likely to turn to food in an attempt to feel better. It doesn't work. I mean, sure, it works for a few minutes. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't work in the long run. There's better ways, okay? Anything else you want to add before we sign off? I think the big, I just, it's... The most important thing I learned out of this is just the the positive. There's a lot of positive that's out there, mm -hmm. and if you if you have the tools to grab it, then it's yours. Then it's yours. It's yours to take and yours to do what you want. And if people that watch this, if you want, it's it's worth everything because if you can once you get that positive part as a dominant part of your brain. You can just move on. It's so easy to move on yeah. and handle what's given to you. And the reason why um, most people have a hard time programming their minds without some help to be that positive is because we're pre-wired for negativity. It's a, it's a survival thing. It's a survival mechanism. We're constantly looking for danger. That's how we survive. Because yeah. if we didn't, we wouldn't survive very long. So when we're constantly looking for danger, we're finding it everywhere. So unless we figure out a way to program our minds to channel us towards positivity and a positive outcome, the default setting, unfortunately, is, is, is negativity. And I think that's a great way of um, you know, describing what Duncan just explained about how the positivity is theirs for you and you can take it. You just need the tools to be able to get it. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, exactly. I mean, awesome. And anything else? Sorry, I don't want to cut no, you I'm off. No, I'm good. I'm good, man. Okay, why don't we do this? Once you get to your goal weight, maybe we'll do another video. Absolutely, sure. Awesome. All right, thanks very much, Duncan. No problem.